Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and I received an email from a friend. Her name is, oh, I don't know if her is or his, um, Marcel Slavik. Okay, and he said, or she said, Marcel said, I am a lighting designer and I'm a, I'm a beginner. I have a problem with creating lighting and sidewalk in Dialux Evo. And Marcel said, you help me. And I said, what is the problem? Okay. And then he said, sorry, do you have any courses how to create light to sidewalk or any rules? I want to learn about it. For example, how on YouTube. Okay. All right. So about the rules, yes, there are some rules about lighting for a path walk or a sidewalk. Okay. And for the YouTube channel, yes, I have one tutorial, I think, about the path walk lighting. And for the Udemy, it's part of the landscape lighting design techniques and it's still ongoing. It's still not published in Udemy yet, but I will update you once it is published. Okay, so let's go now for the first rule. And then later I will discuss how to do it in Dalaxivo. Okay, so I'm working with my book now about lighting design techniques and about the rule. So there is um, patchwork lighting techniques here. I think it's on the this chapter I'm showing you now my ebook so um, yeah for patchwork lighting there is some techniques or some things that you need to consider before you doing it so first we need to consider the standard here in my example I will tell you the CIE 136-2000 this is a European norms or standard about the patchwork lighting and there are different levels on how to light a patchwork for example, um, there is a pathwalk for the parks and residential areas. The average should be 5 lakhs and the minimum should be 2 lakhs. This one, I need to double check this one. What is this? Maybe this is for the vertical. Because ver for a pathwalk, you need to also show the vertical elimination because the people passing by should be fully recognized. Because pathwalk is not about only horizontal or you're not only lighting up the floor, but you also light up the people passing by they should be fully recognized when they cross to that pathwalk that's why this one is maybe up to that side part of the lighting standard and for the city center it should be 10 lux and for the arcades and passageways it should be 10 lux again but i'm showing you this one are minimums some clients will ask you more than this one this is just a minimum this guide is for a minimum and then in this ebook, I showed some of the fittings that you can use for a patchwork lighting. You can use a bollard, a pedestal luminaire. Maybe you can use um, a floor recess with a dome, or you can light up a patchwork on the wall uh, by using a wall-mounted luminaire, either recess or surface-mounted. And also you can use a post lamp, a decorative one or non-decorative. And sometimes you can still use a flexible LED. I'll show you some examples on this one. So here, for a patchwork lighting using bollard, so you can see here there are so many different types of bollards. Some are very uh, simple and elegant. Some are very decorative. Some blends to the, to the surroundings or to the landscaping, like for example this one. And yeah, these are the bollards, types of bollards for lighting a patchwork. While this one, this one is for highlighting a patchwork using a pedestal lamp. And this one is using LED strips or maybe it looks like LED strip because it's inside the patchwork blocks. While this one, you can light up a patchwork using a floor recessed linear fitting like this one. But it's a combination of the up lights here and the three lights with this linear on the floor. Sometimes, like what I mentioned, you can use a wall recess or surface mounted luminaire to highlight a patchwork. Like for example this one and this one and here in this residential you can see there is a patchwork mounted on the wall another one is here it's an urban lighting but again it's a combination of a decorative luminaire here and also a patchwork light mounted on the wall again you can also use post lamp either decorative or very elegant post lamp for highlighting the patchwork and sometimes uh, suspended can also be used like for example this one especially if it's in the park or urban area 
yeah you can also use a path walk, uh, suspended luminal for the path walk okay and then i will show you some of yeah these are part of my ebook if you want to have the copy of this ebook soon i will publish it because right now it's still not yet edited it's not yet complete or edited but i will update you once it's published so after finding out the standard for a path walk it says 5 to 10 lakhs but this is a minimum and it depends on the areas or zones uh, i have uh, i think two four five projects here that uh, requires path walk lighting and most of them are not into that standard like it's more than for example here this is a commercial area office commercial area and you can see i have bollards here i show also the people here I, if you go to the the false color you can see that it's like more or less 30 lux yeah for the pathwalk area okay and if you want to check if it's really 30 lux i can just put a uh, calculation surface on this one i may just go to the calculation object tab and then i will press this one results on surface and i'll click it here yes and then i will just say um path walk here i will type path walk and then um, yes false color value charge and yeah and let's see how it goes so for the path walk is my path walk correct yes it's 33 locks you can see here it's 33 locks for the path walk and you can see there is another value here which is 1.36 candela per square meter this is the one i'm talking a while ago about the vertical illumination for a path walk because it's not only a horizontal it's also important that you highlight the face of the people passing by to that path walk like for example this man they should be fully recognize using those light for the path walk okay so that's the value and there's another one here i have one project again and this one is an office it's a combination of an office and warehouse so i also have another path walk here and you can see i also again use a bollard fitting and if i turn on my ah i use jpeg file yeah so it's along the the car parking area uh, the internal road first car parking and then going to the office that is where my path walks located and if we go to the false color you may see that again this is a little higher i think this is 50 lux so if we combine these colors we can go for a in between 30 to 50 lux which is maybe 40 to 45 lux so it's beyond the uh, lighting guide requirements because really for path walk sometimes the clients will ask for more because in actual 5 lux 10 lux is not that much yeah it's it's not that enough for a passers by to walk on safely on the path walk that's why they increase it and like what i mentioned it's a minimum requirement for from the standard so you can increase that one if you like and there's another one here uh, this is my recent project this is a grocery store it's a cooperative store and you can see the client asked for a path walk along the building or the grocery store and along this car parking area and if i go to my calculation report i have here yes it says 33 lakhs and uh, there is 4.8 candela per square meter and then there's another one here which is 29 lux it's the one along the perimeter of the building and those light i use are from wall mounted while in this one i just use the spill light coming from the pole light okay so i use bollard for this one and this one as well as a bollard this one is a combination of a wall mount and a street light and this one this is a specific a uh, project really for a path walk lighting and for a road lighting so i use a very elegant uh, bollard here it has a decoration and this is how the project looks like so the client asked for the path walk lighting for this red one because this is the circulation of the employees going and outward to that premises so the uh, client asked for a pathwalk lighting design so look this is amazing i love this project 
And if we go and check in my calculation report, the padlock says nothing. Okay, but if you go to the false color, we will see that this padlock is not a good design actually because the uniformity is really bad. But we can go and say this one is, that green is 100 lux. So I can just say the average will be um, 30 lux for this one. And if I want to check really if it's really 30 lux, I can just go and create a calculation for that one. So I'll go to the calculation object tab, draw a rectangular object here, and I'll say I'll put a calculation surface between these three uh, bollards, and I will label this one as a path walk. And then I'll say the position is 0.1, yes, parameter is only horizontal. I can also use the cylindrical illuminance if I want to. Yeah, just let's check that one. And then the quantity and distance, I'll just say the distance will be 1 meter by 1 meter. And let's go and open the false color and the value chart and the ice line. And then let's go and move it a little. Yes, in between those two. And if we want to make, make a precise length and dimension of that one, See, this one is 17.9. Let's say make it 18 meters by 2 meters. There you go. And then let's go and run a calculation and see how it looks. I assume it's 30 lux. So another one is this one, which is a combination of a road light, a uh, road, and a path walk. So I did not calculate it yet. But if I want to really check or double check the path walk lighting here, I can just go to the uh, there's another way you can do it by outdoor lighting calculation like what I did here so you can see I have path walk it's I run it using the outdoor lighting calculation like also this one there's another way which is more precise because it will follow the standard so go and check that one go to the street lighting and then create a path walk and then run a calculation on that one.